Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss Pre Market Report for Tuesday, August 29th, 2017. Happy birthday to my wonderful wife, Claudia. I'm Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. Right now, we have a very tightly coiled pattern here that's been developing over the last few weeks. Um, the last time something like this happened, we had a very nice two to three week rally here. I'm expecting more of the same at some point. It's hard to say whether we're going to start to rally now uh, or when, but we obviously have the rest of this holiday week coming up. Next week's a holiday shortened week. Uh, but after that kind of plays out, we could be looking at a squeeze to come. I mentioned before that 2400 to 2404 is still a key zone to defend. So even if price were to come down here, that's probably a much better buy opportunity. But at some point, all of this energy is going to get released and the likelihood is to the upside. So we'll continue to watch this as we head throughout the day. Uh, if we take a look here at the intraday time frame uh, for the ES, you'll notice that today the market has formed a tight little range or clear little trading range. You can see right here 34 is very important. Bears defending over and over. We're now right back at that zone. Down here failed new lows led price right back up. So we have two-sided range right now. Failed new highs, failed new lows offer great fading opportunities on the short-term basis. If price were to push above 34 and hold, there could be a nice rally back toward uh, the previous session's close of 24.44. All right, let's take a look here at uh, crude oil. There's crude. Now, crude had an aggressive move lower yesterday. Price failed to hold above the previous session's high price and then aggressively uh, went for the sell stops in the opposite direction. Uh, that led to a nice steady sell-off here throughout the session, reaching two-week two week lows where it held. Again, very similar to the ES, this thing is also coiling. Not a whole lot of, of great setup at this moment. Very tightly coiled price action. At some point, the expectation is for a move one way or another. It could be down, it could be up. Uh, right now, this thing's been going down and up. So it's been very difficult to really jump on and get something with a high probability opportunity wrapped around it. So we're gonna keep watching this one. There could be something that develops at some point. We will see expansion from this range. Right now, it makes a little bit more sense to be cautious at this time. Uh, gold futures here, this one was unique in that we were watching for it to reject several uh, days ago. We had this nice rejection tail right there. We were watching 98 to 1300 as our absorption point and it held for several days. But as I usually mention, you can hold there for two days, maybe even three, but by day three or four, if you're not going, you're not likely to go. And what happened was price rejected 1300, dropped below 85s, and could not hold and rejected back up. When that impulse range formed, that impulse sell-off, I mentioned to our group that we're no longer looking for a decline. Instead, we're going to watch the key range for expansion. That's going to give us the move. The expansion was to the upside and we just hit 1330.3 for the first time since election night here in the US last November. Here's the last time we touched it right there. That was election night where, where gold rallied during the, during the evening and then turned around and sold off uh, the, the next couple of weeks, next couple of months. So we've never come back to that level until this morning. Each time we've tested it, we've sold off. So it's going to be interesting to see if bears come back in to defend yet again, which would push price right back to 1250. So right now testing 1330, big time level. We'll see how the market responds to that level right now. Lastly, looking at the NQ, again, the NQ tightly coiled price action uh, on the whole. We're still in an upward trending market, so the expectation would be for an upside continuation at some point. Right now, we don't have a great uh, set up or any kind of great trade right here to work off of at the moment, but we're watching to see how it plays out. Again, 5729 could be an opportunity to defend. 5500 to 5550 still remains the major buy opportunity. We're not likely to drop down here, but if we did, it could be a great move from 5500 to 6K. So again, we're still coiling, so nothing really to do now. We just got to wait and see how this thing plays out eventually we'll be able to hitch a ride in the direction it goes. So just watching for this one to develop. We'll see how it plays out. All right, that's it for now. We'll talk to you soon. Good luck and trade well.